karibuni uh, sana uh, kwa majina anaitwa Daudi Anguka uh, Daudi Anguka is a filmmaker based in Mombasa uh, and and founder of a art films production na leo tutakuwa karibisha katika kuweza kuelewa jani ya pete vile ilikuwa kwa ajili ya kuwa kitu rais and ndio maana ningetaka mketi na mimi muelewe kwa kipindi chenu cha Kiswahili cha pete vile kileza kutengenezwa lakini kabla nianze ningependa mweze kuona trailer ya ya pete ndio watu wazidi kujua nini ambacho tuongelea Steve trailer ya pete Jambo moja liko wazi kuna maafa makuu yanakuja kisiwani Huyu mtoto wako huta hayemtetea. Kwa historia ya funzi, pete haijawahi kumvuka kio. Pete haijawahi kumvuka. Jambo moja liko wazi. Kuna maafa makuu yanakuja kisiwani. Huyu mtoto wako huta hayemtetea. Kwa historia ya funzi, Pete haijawahi kumvuka kiongozi yoyote. Hivi sasa imemfuka huyo. Lakini mama mimi nimemfanya mangapi jasiri? Wanta manisha kwa mke wako jasiri. Lazima upaze kamba sawa sawa. Ile siku bora taniwa utatafuta mahali pa kwanyaga. Mimi ndiye mfalme wa funzi. Kumetupwa nini kisiwani? Ah, karibuni sana karibuni. Eh, wacha niwapeleke katika kisiwa cha Funzi Island. Na na na, na pete ni story moja ambayo ilinipatia challenge sana as a producer. Kwa ajili nakumbuka 2017 ndo ndo nilianza kutengeza hii project nikiwa Mombasa na nilitaka kufanya kitu unique ambayo audience wangeza kulete nayo na ilikuwa naangalia world ya tv vile watu wana, wanafanya kazi zao then nikasema okay uh, ni high time sasa pia mimi ninge kwa world ya tv then niweze kufanya kitu ambao audience wataweza kurelate kwa the end of the day kutengeza project ni about audience eh, unaweza penda story audience wasipopenda story story inaanguka so nakumbuka hiyo time nikiwa ni marketing nakumbuka okay Ah, uh, ndafutengeza story Mombasa. What is unique about coast? Ah, uh, coast nikaangalia kitu unique about coast ni island. Island kuna nini unique? Kitu ambayo iko unique kwa island ni bahari ambayo ni ocean imetusurround ndio maana inaitwa island. So this is what happened nilitembea kwa different islands. Like around uh, six to seven islands nilienda 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 Lamu nikitoka Lamu nikakuja size za Malindi nikitafuta islands then nikaregea paka nikaenda mbele ya Msambweni kutafuta islands then kuna one of my friends akaniambia Daudi there is an island ambayo hujaenda because nilikuwa na hiyo story but nilitaka nitembe kwa hizi islands so that niweze kupata a unique location ambayo itanisaidia mimi kuweza ku create story yangu so akateleambia kaniambia okay eh, nikamwambia nimetembea all of the islands na the idea which niko nayo kulingana na locations na feel bad ya fit but maybe nikipata hiyo island na itaka I'll, I'll, I'll create my story so tulivu uja kama kanimba kwa there is an island by the name funzi island i want to take you wende uione so tulivuenda funzi island kitu nilifurahisha the way hiyo island population yake watu wako vile wanaishi generally is a forgotten island and iko na population of around 200 people na hawa watu wanaongozwa na chief na hawa watu kwa hiyo island yote ni family then ukiangalia chief hata uwezi kujua chief ni nani so a leader ambao aweza pitana naye bila kujua so hizi ni key points ambazo mimi kwa natafuta i wanted to do a simple story of about leadership na pia na love triangle but i wanted an environment ambayo iko simple ya kuweza ku make audience wangu wa relate na hii island so wakati nilitembea kwa hiyo island kuangalia 
uh, story wise uh, vitu ambavyo zina happen real life vile wanaishi their names because i have to make sure kuwa while i'm creating my story wa feel pia wao ni part of the story so nika understand nikaenda kwa leader wao nikamuona that's why nikakuja na idea kuwa i want to create a story of 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 of, of a leader a leader ambayo ni wa kawaida ana power but power yake si ati jamii wanaiogopa ni mtu ambaye atatoka hapa leo akaenda akatongoza msichana kwa msitu and, and that's what happened in pete i wanted something simple ambayo ni kiongozi ambao advisor wake ni mtu mjinga duniani ambao ni sudi ambao yom advise na ako sure na each and every word ambao sudi yafanya so nikaanzisha story kwa hii island ndio maana nikamu okay now it is my time kwenda kwa hii island nifanye pilot so nilienda kwa hii island kweli nikafanya pilot na baada kufanya pilot ni kutafuta market na kiukweli hapo ndo nikaamua kuipelekea maisha magic east ambayo inaongozwa na Margaret Mato na Jackie Nyanzwa and wakati nilipeleka project yangu ili more than one year because uh, nili shoot pilot na challenges nyingi sana kwa hii kwa hii island I, nilibidi ni shootio pilot within three days niweze kutoka kwa hiyo time nilienda ilikuwa ni time ya mvua nyingi sana so nikangangana then nika deliver project yangu then nika deliver project yangu ambao um, ndio hiyo pete uh, some clips naona hapo zina play which is good is what we've been doing nikangoja one year ya ya ya, ya kupata response ya pete so nilipata response ya pete then nikaingia kwa field uh, kuweza kuanza ku shoot pete now hapo ndo challenges zilianzia nilienda kwa island island ambayo haina stima island ambayo haina market island ambayo population wanategemeana as a family hakuna kitu yoyote kwa hii island na ni challenge nilijipea ngasema okay because for the first 60 episodes nilikuwa na, na crew of about 50 people and nakumbuka tukianza ku shoot team yangu ilijitolea sana team yangu ya pete watu walijitolea sana because watu kwa mimi mwenyewe kwa nalala kwa uh, hat zile hat house vile mwajijua vile ziko za udongo and and my team kila team nzima ilala kwa nyumba moja tukiweza kungangana kushuti pete but now kumbuka tuko kwa environment ambayo ina culture zake na lazima wakati kwa hiyo environment you have to follow hizo hiyo culture so nakumbuka wakati tuendelea kushoot haikuwa rahisi tunangangana uh, stima kuna so nilikuwa na generator moja generator ikizima watu waizi yoga watu wameamka asubuhi wananiangalia lazima ningangane nitafute fundi atengeze generator niko mahali ambapo giza ikishafika ni total darkness ambayo wewe kama sasa executive by ina maisha by saa tatu because tuko kwa ni kama wilderness, wilderness generally e, ambao by saa tatu kila mtu yafaa awe amelala so nakumbuka kuna siku kwa nimelala uh, ni kama saa tatu uh, post production team yangu akanipigia kuwa uh, shetani amewakujia uh, kuna ghost ametokezea na hawaizi lala na uh, hiyo time ilikuwa ni around saa saba usiku so niko kwa hii area nasema it is my first time to be in this product uh, to be in this area sijui cultures sijui whatever is happening because place kwa tunalala ni island tuko surrounded by na ocean ukiamka wakitembea kidogo tu ni bahari iko mbele yako ilibidi niamke kama Daudi anguka nikamsha watu wangu wengine tukakimbia cuz hiyo time watu wangu wa post production kwa nalala kwa one of the schools kwa hapo ndo kulikuwa kidogo na na na, na power ya niniyo power ya solar system so nilipokimbia hapo they nikauliza nini mbaya wakaniambia kuwa Daudi kuna shetani ametuvamia na generally hakuna mtu anapigana na shetani and and mimi nikabaki nikastaka nikasema nao niko kwa environment gani environment tena naja kupigana na mashetani unajua generally ukiwa Mombasa watu na watu na believe kwa hizi vitu zinaitwa jin jin ni spiritual things ambazo wanasema zinaingilia zinaingilia watu ambao ni wanasema ni vitu around negative powers 
ambazo zikuzunguka zi hawezi fanya lolote so mimi liketi hapo also i was worried because ni kitu ambao mimi mwenyewe sijawahi experience nikaambia tu ndugu zangu now this is what we are going to do lazima tuombe ndio ili ndio ili kazi iendelee cause hapa hatujui vile tutapigana na shetani so ilibidi turege back uh, watu waruje waendelee kufanya kazi tukangangana hivyo pole pole na unapata kila mtu papa ana anajaribu kuangalia we kama producer waenda fanya nini kuweza ku make sure hizi challenges zote zinawa face nisiwafikie so ikabidi nitulie uh, ngasema okay nimepata project na project kupata si rahisi ni wewe nguvu zako uweze kutia bidii zaidi ili uweze kupata kazi nikaendelea zangu na kazi kufanya kazi na hivyo hivyo kwa rahisi na kumbuka kuna time unapata uh, talent wako wamechoka na kuketi kwa hiyo environment cause ni environment ambayo ukiketi una feel kama wewe uko umefungwa cause kuna time tulivyo renew contract ilibidi tuketi more than 8 months kwa hii island so that each and every morning kazi yetu ni kuamka na kushoot na imagine uko na watu hapa uko na watoto uko na wababa uko na wamama na uko na wazee na hiyo time nakumbuka ilikuwa 24 years so 24 years contract nyingine ikiongezwa na ingia kama 25 years and 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 kwa hiyo age lazima di controlla watu kumbuka mimi hapo ndo DOP na kumbuka nilichukua crew nzima ambao watu wengi halikuwa hawajui kazi ya film hii crew nzima sita kudanganya ilikuwa ni team ambayo mimi mwenyewe ndo nilitrain kuanzia kwa head of department ya directing paka editing ili kwa ni crew ya Mombasa ambao technical know how wengi wao kwa juu so ilibidi nikiingia set each and every department niweze ku control kama Daudi ndio tuweze kufanya hii kazi cause nilichukua nilisema nataka kuna cha watu kwa hii industry so hii kitu nilifanya ilikuwa nikijua una, una potential kama ya product, ya designer na kuita no potential kama ulikuwa direct stage play na kuita then nikisha kuita is when wakati na biko on set mimi mwenyewe ndo nitakuwa na ku help jinsi ya kudirect na ku help jinsi costume zinataka ina gani ad mtafanyaje so ilikuwa like ni, nimepoa project but also i'm doing workshop for my team kutoka Mombasa ili niweze kupata a technical team i understand vision yangu na kuweza kusukuma vision yangu na kiukweli kwa rais tulikangana ilikuwa ni reshoots tunafanya ni ni, 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 ni kazi tunangangana kila team department yote ni train mimi ya kamera kwa juu kushika kamera wanalala kutoka kwa mimi so lazima huku ni shoot mimi ni control ingie kwa villagers ni ingie pia niongee na villagers na tuweze kufanya hii kipindi yetu ya pete ifike mali ilivyo cause community kwa hapa ya kuangalia kama Daudi umekuja kwetu na Daudi yuko hapa America project ambayo yaendelea ku match hizi watu wote ili waweze kuelewa kipindi i'm telling it's not an easy job na hii kumbuka hawa watu wote kwa nategemea mimi because i think kuna time ilibidi mimi nikuwe Kenya power uh, generator zangu ndio kwa supply moto uh, ilikuwa saidi ya vitu vingi ni kwa hii island ilibidi pia mimi nianze kuangalia jinsi ya kutrain watu wa island cuz hii ndio kazi ambayo watu wanategemea ambao extras for the last uh, around four years tulianza kuwa build paka wengine tukachukua main character kutoka hapo hapo so ilikuwa ni process by process kuweza ku merge community na hawa film film makers so haikuwa jambo rahisi nikangangana hivyo nikaendelea vizuri and and kipindi ka pick ka pick vizuri wakati kipindi me pick uh, kuna siku moja tuendelea ku shoot tena sana ni usiku uh, dom kwa sababu kwa tunakuwa tunalala kuna place ilikuwa ni mehaya ni kama dom ya watu wote wanalala it is, a, it is an hotel ambayo nilichukua kila mtu yolala nakumbuka sana ni usiku kesi nyingine tena ikatokezea wasichana wamevamiwa na mashetani and 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 ilikuwa tena challenge nyingine kubwa kwangu cause hiyo time tuko tumekuwa tumelala usiku wasichana wamevamiwa na nini mashetani na sijui vile kitu nitafanya nikamshua usiku tena manane and and uh, watu wako na scream at uh, wasichana wangu nakumbuka kwa hiyo domi yao people were screaming uh, names kubwa kubwa za wengine wana scream lions simba cheetah and 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 sikujua 
jinsi ambayo mimi nitaweza control kitu kama hii so waliniita because at the end of the day kitu kifanyika as a boss lazima niamke au wana believe you know once you are a leader watu wana believe unaweza pigana na kila mtu hata shetani unaweza pigana naye and 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 cuz wewe ndo mwongozo wao so i remember that day waliniamsha usiku nikamka usiku kwenda kwa dom ladies were really screaming and and wakati waliniona wakaanza nifuata wakija kwangu so with me also i was worried because i've never seen a satan but najua wana exist so wakati mmoja kwa yanifuata i had to run nilikimbia nyimbio nyingi and that time kulikuwa na head of department wa jitinga alikuwa nyuma yangu jamaa kaanza nifuata pia mimi kila mtu so alipona vile boss wakimbia kila mtu alianza nifuata mimi nyuma so i had to turn kambi kila mtu go back and help us ladies mimi nakimbia kwenda kuangalia solution ambao tuweza kuja tuweze kusaidia wasichana cuz kila mtu alikuwa worried tuko kwa ile world ambayo watu wanajua shetani ni Mungu pekee zapigana naye hata pastor binafikia mali wanatoroka so ikabidi ikakuwa challenge kubwa paka watu wakaanza sema kuwa i have to sacrifice eh? a goat cuz tangu nije sija sacrifice goat kwa hii area kumbuka ukiingilia vitu kwa sacrificial da hiyo inaenda kitu inaitwa nini dini dini ni kitu ambao technical sana ambao ni religion cuz kumbuka we have christians and muslims muslims wakwambia u sacrifice christians watasema you've done something ambao maybe it will affect and nakumbuka nikiamka hiyo siku asubuhi nilikuwa na challenge kambia mungu nipatie wisdom because at the end of the day people were really making noises eh? kuwa oh i've never done any sacrifice takunija sijachinja na mshetani wamekasirika wame, ndo maana tunawapata hizi challenges mimi ama Christian nikajiambia tu one thing ni kuwa leo hii nikiingia kwa hii wali ya kuchinja as a Christian kesho mtachinja nini na nini nakumbuka hiyo siku nilikete kwa mba Mungu na nikasema tu no hapa changa tafuteshe kadhi anisaidie nao watu so what i did kwa kadhi tuka discuss na kadhi na hii siri hawakujua kadhi akaniambia no pa hizi i think hawa watu wafuo patie break hawajua sasa ni watu wakiketi mali sana kuna challenges moja mbili tatu watu wanaweza face personal na kadi alikuja akanisaidia wote watu wakaelezewa watu wote wakakimia nikabidi niendelee na kushoot na nikangangana na hivyo na kushoot ngana na kushoot then corona ikakuja na corona ilipokuja niko kwa island people are understand uh, production vile inazosonga and uh, naona hapo Steve you are you are you are cheza video maybe we can audio what we we is kusikiza kidogo Steve Come.
we are back. So, iko na ongelea time corona imeingia and 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 corona unaona vile ile itikila mtu. So nakumbuka ilibidi watu wapige kelele nika break. Nikasema acha nitoe watu kwa kwa location because I will what next so that uketi uketi kidogo uone nini ambaye ina happen before I get back. So nakumbuka nikapacha tu break ya one month then after one month kipindi ilikuwa imerun sana we didn't have enough materials za kuweza ku maintain show kuweza ku run so i ilibidi yo time nitumie idea kurekisha watu set so ilibidi niweze kuongea ni cause hiyo time kulikuwa na na rules kubwa sana for you to go back on set ambao lazima ulikuwa utafute mambo ya health uende kwa polisa na mambo ya vaccine na kila kitu so na kumbuka after one month nikarekisha watu on set na njia ya kungangana nini na nini wakati nimeregesha watu on set community ka gang up ikasema nimeleta watu wa corona on set ikaanza kuwa na kilele kubwa katika hiyo county huwa watu wa pete wameleta watu wa corona and and nakumbuka hiyo time it was very a difficult time for me because hiyo time narudi to set wakati naingia at night ilikuwa kunanyesha mvua na tanda ulikuwa wakati kwa mvua wakati nimelala usiku kulikuwa na thunderstorm na ikapiga place kwa tolala ikaangukia uh, karibu mimi mwenyewe nikufe ikapiga na hapo kulikuwa na equipment so watu wakamkambio wameshtuka kuja kunisaidia and, and, and nikakuwa worried what is happening nini ambaye afanyika hii time nimerudisha to set but hivyo hivyo ngambia Mungu ah Mungu amenisaidia sijaweza kuumia niko hai wacha nizidi kuangana but huku kwingine pia community ime gang up ikisema nini Daudi ameleta watu wa corona and 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 ilikuwa tough mpaka nakumbuka hiyo time DCC wakwale na mapolisi wakanipigia simu kuwa they are giving me 10 minutes kutoa watu wote katika Funzi Island ama timu yangu yote itashikwa waikwe under forced quarantine. Hiyo time ilikuwa unakuwa time ya corona mwajua vile watu kwa wanashikwa. And hiyo time nakumbuka nilikuwa niko Mombasa town. I had to drive very fast. Nikampigia mkubwa ngambia bwana mimi sijakuja na toa corona. Na I think hizo kelele zinakuja ni ni kelele ambazo mimi mwenyewe sijijui. But walikataa. Nakumbuka hiyo time nikiingia kwa set mapolisi wameingia kwa set DCC wameingia kwa set DCI wameingia kwa set wakaanza interrogate everyone wako na ndio zamii maswali team yangu yote ikaikuanda meeting mi mwenyewe nikaikuanda meeting wakasema this is what they are going to do tunaenda kuwe kwa under forced quarantine all of us for one month of us not shooting so we are not going to shoot but itakuwa tunaketi kwa hii wamechukua hii location yetu ya island place ambayo mimi mwenyewe ndio nimeleta watu wameigeuza kam ya corona. So mimi na timu yangu yote tumekuwa under forced quarantine atufai ku move. Hawataki kujua bless tutakula au point yao ni health health wanaangalia situation zao za health. So mimi nikikacha hapa na watu no one should move. No one should do anything as long as wao wanasema sisi tuko under forced quarantine. So nikaanza fikiria budget because i think nilikati one week bila kutoka chakula huko inaisha hao jamaa nikitoka wameka watu huko wa kutuangalia vile tufanya kazi na kubwa kuna time nilienda ukunda ilikuwa nimepeleka one of my talent alikuwa mgonjwa akampeleka hospital ilikuwa ni emergency so i lazima kwa nitoke wakati nilitoka nikienda ukunda kumbe kulikuwa wameka watu wa kunispai mmoja mmoja kaniona kwa supermarket wakanipiga picha Unipigia picha information ikafika kwa DCC kuwa da, Daudi ametoka kwa camp. Na hii camp ni location yangu mimi mwenyewe na watu wangu niwaambia wana corona. Eh so hiyo time call ikaingia jamaa akachukua magari na mapolisi mbio paka kwa location. Nikifika ikakuwa kelele kuwa nimefanya makosa which eh, on their side ilikuwa ni makosa. Wakamsema kuwa ni jambo moja nataka kunibeba mimi kunipeleka wapi kunipeleka kwa another location wanifungie for one month 
So imagine one month ukifungiwa production hawa watoto mwaleta na kutegemea wewe. Watu wao wote mimi kaambia no hakuna mtu kwenye corona. Keep the best thing they should do. Kila mtu apimwe. Like wazo wametukata force quarantine force quarantine for one month we cannot shoot we cannot do anything. Na huko I have a team ambayo inaniangalia mimi ndo baba, mimi ndo kiongozi wao na huko pia kuna project inaenda kusimama. Na nakumbuka hiyo time ilipofika ilikuwa I think ilikuwa depression set because hakuna kitu kwa ina move na ngasema tu Mungu aizenisaidia so nilingangana hiyo time uh, kungangana kuweza kupima corona wakaleta result Mungu akatusaidia kuna mtu alikuwa na corona and and after hiyo one month wakaturuhusu uh, watu kadhaa waweze shoot around the 15 to, 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 to 12 people only unajua kwa production we have a team of around 50 people for you to, able, to be able to do just a one scene so ikuwa kitu rahisi lakini nilingangana hivyo hivyo nikaweza ku shoot nikamaliza nikaweza ku shoot kumaliza na endelea na production uh, talent wangu mmoja akakuwa mgonjwa yaitu mzee msiri mzee msiri hiyo time atukujua ni ile ugonjwa kawaida ambao unajua kuwa ah talent akiwa mgonjwa in the hospital arudi but kumba tukujua mzee wetu msiri alikuwa na kansa ambayo ilikuwa ina imefika stage uh, stage stage 4 na unajua kansa ikifika stage 4 hakuna kurejea nyuma so twendela ku shoot Mungu ametufungulia corona imeisha na kuna our main actor hapa ambao ni mzee msiri ambao audience wakuwa nampenda sana because huu ni character nilimweka kamba hii kiongozi wa hii island in terms of religion ambao yeye akisema kitu apart from leadership kama vile una wana ya Kenya vile ilivyo kuna leadership mara mbili kuna religion wana control watu in terms of leadership kuna president ambaye control watu in terms of leadership mzee wangu akaanza kuwa mgonjwa so pole pole sikujua Ah, ngajua mzee yuko kuja kawa kaida nikampigia simu Daudi naendelea vizuri niko hospital so kuna siku nikaamua nimpeleke mimi mwenyewe hospital ambao ni Mombasa town kumpeleka Mombasa town ah baadaye ilikuwa nimeregea back on set kurudi nikafuata daktari ngamba daktari e, mgonjwa wangu endeleaje daktari akaniambia bwana changu ambe ukweli mgonjwa wako ako na kansa na hata maliza one month kwa hiyo kama bado uko nae kazini so sasa hizi hakuna dawa kitu muhimu ni mpatie kitu cha kufanya so hapa kitu ina happen tena umpata challenge nyingine ya talent wako na hii ni ugonjwa ambao kila mtu inamsumbua Kenya nzima so sikujua jinsi ya kuweza kumuelezea mzee hiyo kitu uh, ilikuwa ni kumtegesha mzee nyumbani ama mzee amwe kuja kwa set na mzee kitu moja ambaye alisema Daudi nipeleke set ni na timu yangu and and challenge tena ikaanza na our main character wangu ambao ni main act challenge tena imetokezea na nakumbuka nikamregesha set mzee nikamtafutia personal doctor akarudi tena Mombasa mambo ya dawa but ikafikia mali imefikia kubwa sana mi mwenyewe nakumbuka paka last minute nikikimbia na mzee tuampeleka hospital tena mzee majali wa Mungu vile mpango yake ikamchukua na kwa, kwa set yangu hakuna mtu kitu ishafanya kama hiyo hiyo time ikakuwa tena disaster nyingine ya kuwa eh hey, ku control jambo kama hii Mungu amechukua mtu kwa set yako. Ikakuwa tena situation nyingine tricky sana ambao kila mtu yajaribu kuangalia jinsi ya ku cope nayo on set. So hapo ikabidi nivumilie tukaungana za team tukamcelebrate tuka mzee kwa kazi ambayo amefanya ambayo ni mzee msiri na tukaendelea tena na production. Production ikazidi kuendelea kuweza ku push ku push production to levels angalau production iweze kufikia hiyo level B. Now, siku zote kwa production kuna ups and downs ambayo nimeongelea nyingi wakati ambazo saa hizi tukipiga story. Kuna kitu moja ambao ni actors. Actors kuna mali aje inafika, wote ni famous. Kudeal na watu famous ni kitu ngumu sana kwa industry. Watu wengi hawajui. Fame fame ni kitu nzuri, lakini fame ni ugonjwa. Ambao I think watu wengi hawajijua and and hiyo ni challenge moja nilipata because kuna time pete ime watu wamependa pete paka leo watu wanapenda pete na pete bado inaendelea maisha majiki na actors washakuwa masters now again kuna actor ambaye anaweza kuwa kuamua toke set because yeye yeah, amesikia tu toke set na ukumbuka hapa sasa unaanza ku deal na una kitu inaitwa pride because fame inakuja na pride na fame inakuja na jinsi ambayo wewe mwenyewe unaweza control Now as a producer is either okay wana sira utafuta actors wote 
kazi na project itasimama ama uamue kuketi nao umwangalie the way forward because i think ndio challenge kubwa sasa hizi kwa industry ambayo ina happen kwa productions kuna hizo fight between producer and actor and i think ni kitu moja ambao tunafaa tuiongelee na bigger picture watu wanaiona simple because finance inatoka wengine sisi tunaichukua na tunaweza kuangalia jinsi ambayo tunaposh nayo so nilikuwa na challenge because actors wangu walifikia mahali wa controlled si rahisi huyu ni mtu akitoka watu wanamkimbilia huyu ni mtu watu wanamtext 24/7 huyu ni mtu ambaye na mashabiki ambayo all over East Africa wanamshabikia na as a producer kuwa maintain sasa kuweza kumaliza project inakuja challenge ambayo inataka wisdom because sometimes kama producer tunakwama mimi hata hiyo time ya corona kuna time kwa nimekwama actors wamekata ku shoot na ni time ya corona and 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 lazima kuje na njia za kuweza kungangana kuna time unapata pesa imekwama actors watu wote wamegoma kufanya project kufanya project au wana feel mbona pesa because one month tu ikikwama ujui you are going to have a very big challenge uh, na we producer kuweza kuzisukuma because we have an industry ambayo bado ina grow sometimes inafikia mahali pesa zinakwama kama one month peke yake but but kitu moja ambao nimefurahia tangu nianze ku work na maisha magic uh, east hao watu wamenijenga sana mimi kama Daudi Anguka nikiongelea the positive size ni kwa tujawahi kosa payment each and every month challenges zikitoka alikuwa natusikiza ilikuwa ni kama teamwork in terms of develop history because hiyo time nikianza kuongelea we've shot like around 720 episodes 765 sorry 765 episodes 765 episodes on this island ambayo umekuja ambayo haina stima ambayo haina ta market ambayo ni msitu ambayo kitu 24/7 kuna time kunatokea tu wanyama kama kuna time time nyoka zindo wengi ukiketi kwa mti ukishoot nyoka anaanguka kuna times baboon wamekuja wametuvamia place tunalala wanapigana na 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 binadamu so angalia hii location ambayo wewe mwenyewe ukilala usiku ni wewe na Mungu ukiamka asubuhi ni kumshukuru Mungu so mimi kitu moja nasema ni kuwa uh, Mungu alitusaidia na nakumbuka hiyo time pia alikuwa na mamangu on set muombe mamangu alinisaidia ambao ni marehemu mamangu alinisaidia sana i think hiyo ilikuwa nguvu yangu moja kubwa nikiwa on set kila time nilikuwa nasema ni kuna mamangu ashaomba kama mangu wa shaomba naamini kwa maombi yake na hata pale yuko najua paka leo yale maombi yake aliomba ndio bado yanatusaidia paka sisi ataweza kutufunika kutufunika na imesaidia kipindi changu because uko 24 tangu fike 28 ndio umemaliza 700 episodes nikimaliza pete ndio uko 28 ambao ni shoot 720 episodes haikuwa rahisi huko because unajua tu challenges na hapo kitu nashukuru nimedeal na actors wangu bila yote kutoka kutoka kwa kipindi so hiyo ambayo inataka nini inataka strength inataka inataka wisdom na inataka jinsi ya kuweza ku learn kuishi na watu because kuna time kuna fights zinatokezea in between set wewe kama producer you have to control but one thing tu ambayo nilipenda ni kuwa pia kwa actors wangu hao watu walikuja kwa ajili ya kuchange industry i think nilikuwa na the best talent on set hao watu ilikuwa in terms each and every character waliweza ku conform kwa 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 characteristics zao za kuweza ku perform kila character aliweza deliver na ilikufikia mahali pa kila mtu aniambia actors wote kwa pete ni actors hii inakuja kwa jila nini team wa kia crew kuanzia kwa director ambao ni Sharif and Janet Shumbe these people really worked so ilikuwa ni process kubwa paka kufikia mahali tuko challenges ndio gazi zinakuwa kwa life challenges zinakuwa but kuna moments pia tulikuwa nazo moment nzuri ya sisi wenyewe kuweza ku create this story kwa hii island na kuweza ku merge this community na ku make community wawe happy about our stories na maybe nikikaribia kumalizia ni kuwa watu wote ambao tulimepete waliweza kufurahia hii concept ya pete na kwa hii island hata wakati natoka tuliweza kujenga back CSR kwa sababu nakumbuka hata wakati nilikuwa nikiendelea kufanya project yangu ya pete tulijenga msikiti ya ya kuweza kusaidia nyumba za msikiti za kuweza kusaidia watu wasoto waendelee kusoma hapo tuliemploy watu tulikreate employment hapo hapo tulileta investment ambayo ilikuwa kubwa sana 
na hapo hapo tuliweza create talent ambao watu wa kujua because kama sasa hizi mimi kuru yangu wengine niliwatowafunzi sio maanisha generally as a production of pete ileza fikia mahali kila mtu ilimjenga apart from challenges zilikuwa kuweza ku move pete because haikuwa rahisi hii ni place ambao ambiwa ilikuwa generator zangu zikifail watu wote waogi mtu watu asipoga ni render set ilikuwa place kuna wadudu walikuwa natuuma ukiamka asubuhi skin skin yako yote imeharibika so 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 we were tulikuwa kwa environment ambayo mimi ndo maana na regular nasema ni Mungu tu angeza kusaidia sisi binadamu lakini yote kwa hayo yote tuliweza ku make sure kuwa tumewaka za team maisha magic east ika come in magret mato na jack nyanzo kuweza kutusaidia na paka saa hizi ndo maana tunaweza ongelea process ya development ya pete paka mali imefikia so maybe still fikia hapo kama maybe kuna maswali swali kuna swali lolote ndani nimejaribu ku explainia process yangu ya pete kwa kwa kirefu na kwa kifupi ili audience wangu aweze kuelewa shukran Steve Steve Ah uh, tukio tutangoja Steve uh, tutajaribu kuangalia maswali ambazo ziko juu ya pete ah uh, kujua jinsi yeah, za kuziongelea Ah uh, Dauni yes So from Michael Macheti. Mhm. Mm how do you manage How do you, do you manage budgets during the COVID era? COVID era, sorry. Actually at that time it was very tough, huh? Michael. Huh? Kuna time ni enda loss. But again, now it do depends relationship yako ambayo uko nao na maboss wako. Cuz nakumbuka kama the first one month ilikuwa to shoot tulikuwa under lockdown and hao watu wanakula kuamka kulala imagine hiyo how how much are you spending kwa crew ya about 100 to 200 people on set na na we mwenyewe you're not working you're not do, you are not sending any deliverables it was a little bit tough but na na, na shukuru uh, ilibidi niweze kuketi na my bosses nikiongea nao kaweza kunisaidia in terms of finances kuweza kunilipa mapema ili angalau niweze ku cover up na kuweza kusukuma cause kumbuka ukika watu on we are working on contractual uh, if, if it's three months it is a contract thing uh, if it's eight months if it is one week year lazima wao wanalala wakikula you have to pay them end month ikifika hakuna mtu understand kuwa lilala kikula atakupatia mikono yake so naweza sema tu boss wangu alinisaidia sana 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 nikaweza ku manage hiyo Uh, how did i identify my distribution channel mm. uh, on how did, how did you identify your distribution channels and what informed your decision how to distribute my tv series okay this is what happened i did my research as a as a film producer nikaangalia how industry na move because before you go to any industry you have to do your research very well so me as a producer what i did i did my research first and and nikaona kuwa sasa hizi content buyers ni kina nani na nikagundua hiyo time maisha magic uh, east walikuwa na invest a lot in local content ambao ni tv dramas so this is what happened niliweza kufanya pilot nika approach then baada hapo i pitched my project and they tried my project after to accept then my project did well and they even kaza ku maintain up to 765 episodes so generally ni ku understand market uh, if you have a product understand market yake inaenda wapi if you understand that market it will be easy for you kuweza kujua why are you creating that product and the purpose of your product in any so that uweze kuichukua from one step to another step and i think you nasaidia sana so so usifanye tu project ukisema wapeleka kuuza fanya project ukijua inaenda wapi yeah hiyo ndo yangu moja naweza ongelea